What's up YouTube? We're back on another adventure. It's me and my awesome girlfriend Lana and we have found a cemetery out here. Graveyard, you know. I like to call them graveyards. It just sounds creepier. But uh, we're at a graveyard we found on the property of the Jarrell Plantation that we explored yesterday. Part 1 and Part 2. We'll probably, well, I will put the links down below in the description and we were just coming out here to just a ride. We were going to take some pictures and uh, we found this and now I'm glad I brought the camera. So let's check it out. Oh, there's little stone, little foot stones right there too. Just be careful not to walk in yeah. anyone's stuff because you don't know how that. So you said in. this one, was, girl was She's 19. 19. Look at that, 1899, 1918. Mm-hmm. What wow. does that say down there? Gone but never forgotten. Not forgotten. Here we got 1878 to 1899. 1868 to 1926. Oh, this one is young. Oh, this is family pot. Yeah. 1885 to 1904. What is this one? Right here. That's a footstone. That's a footstone. Something. T E G. T. It's a footstone. 1851 to 1920. Another little. 1854 to 1882. Everybody's so They're young here. Green, yeah. That was around when the plague and all that shit was around. Oh, tuberculosis. wow. Look at all the, the unmarked graves. There's a lot of authors there. Right over there. Yeah, there's a ton. So, I'm going to let y'all in on this before I show y'all at the end of the video we or she found a spot over there which is just a little fence area and it has um oh, he was 19 too yeah i know um it has one um one headstone and it says unmarked slave graves so i don't know if that's just ones buried graves. there with an S, graves. i know graves with an s so it makes me wonder if this is all that or it's all over there. But all these rocks are unmarked graves. The ground is really soft. I know it is. 1848 to 1913. Here we go. Here's a headstone over here. It says, buried in this cemetery in unmarked graves. William D. Green and looks like probably his wife. 1823 to 1881, 1826 to 1895. Wow, that's pretty old. That's close to 1700s. It says what? It's, uh, it says, buried in the cemetery in unmarked graves. 
it's a marker showing that somebody and and they're they're somewhere on this property on this little lot here so one of these unmarked graves is them Let me walk over here it's crazy guys I seem to stumble upon some crazy cemeteries here recently 1870 to 1906 wow everybody's so young here 1865 to 1929 yes I am glad we came and I was amazing. I was like, almost you didn't come I was by. like I'm sore I'm tired I don't want to do anything today she's like but you promised and now we're here so and now I'm glad I think you should look over there so I'm going to walk down that little pathway and see if there's anything else. I was thinking walk down that one. Yeah. That way and that way. The ground is so soft right here. Just picture how many people are probably buried here and how soft the ground is. Yeah. All those rocks sticking up are unmarked graves. It's crazy. I feel like there's another cemetery on this property. You know that? I feel like there's another cemetery on this property. Probably. There's gotta be one. And as long, I feel like as long as we're not disturbing things, we came and paid the price to look at the other stuff. I would close this. Oh yeah, do that. Yes, I agree. Let me close up my van here. Wait, my keys ignition. This might drive off with it. Maybe. All right. Let y'all see the surprise here. Be careful. Unknown slave graves. That's sad. We are out There's on a dirt road. It's a little sad, but at least they have a tombstone for them and have a little tree. Yeah. Be careful. like it out here this is Juliet Georgia guys bunch of dirt roads Jarrell plantation cool cemeteries it's just a neat place it's beautiful ain't nothing ain't nothing like where I live it's nice We'll go down here and uh, we'll see what we can see down here. Honestly, that's probably controlled fires. That looks like controlled fires to me. They do that. 
so. Be cool if this took us to another cemetery. That'd be cool. Or if the other way took us to another one too. Yeah. Be careful stepping over that. That just circles around. I don't see anything. Driving down more could be another cemetery. As big as the family was, all the generations and years. Well, back. the road's right down there. It probably is another one. I know, but it might not be over here. Yeah, so I'm saying it's down the road. So. What, down the main road? No, down the dirt road. Well, that dirt road ends right down there. Down that other dirt road, the long one that we took yesterday. Oh, yeah. We didn't pay close enough attention to see if there's anything there. No, we really didn't. See on any of those routes? That is true. Yeah, there ain't nothing down there. For the view. That's about it. Just pure woods. See, there's the road. That just leads down into a ravine down there. Yeah, let's go ahead and go back. We will, uh... We'll get in the van and go down the other dirt road and see what we can find. That was a really cool find. So, hopefully we find something and I'll see you there. So guys, apparently we did some mud bogging. So, this side don't look so bad. Well, I mean, you got your little bit of mud there. But I kind of sunk it over here. <laughs> yeah. She needs a bath now. It's alright. <coughs> Just wash this thing. There is a stick in the front end. Good thing I built that thing for off-roading. Love the old van. Take that darn thing anywhere. So we did find us something. We were just about out of here and literally guys, we are remote. We've been on nothing but dirt roads for miles. And this one that we just came off of literally is only wide enough for one vehicle. We have passed a total of two vehicles out here so far for, we've probably been driving 20 miles at least so far. And it's just getting dark. But we found this bridge, which I thought was pretty cool to be out in the middle of the freaking woods like this. We are miles, miles, I'm talking deep in the woods. It's pretty high up too, guys. Ooh, don't step over there, it's very slick. pretty out here.
Yep, don't step in any of that dark stuff. You will slip. This pretty all the colors. So remote. Now that we know where this is, what? 3 a.m. challenge. Oh, yeah. You think so? Yeah. You gotta wait till I come back. Oh, I know. I'm not gonna do it without you. Try to get CJ to come too. Come out here and do a 3 a.m. challenge at the bridge in the middle of the woods. To me, it's just kind of creepy. It is. I just get an eerie vibe. We got to figure out how many people died from this land. I just got freaked out. Look on that sign. It's a jacket. That is weird. What's that there when we went by? Yes, I think. I didn't notice it. That's kind of freaky. Just like somebody hung up their jacket and disappeared. Never came back to get it. That's freaky. Good. Freaky. Feels like my hair is standing up in my arm. That is really strange. I mean, a jacket hanging out on a sign in the middle of nowhere. This is the perfect time to come out here, though, for the first time. Yeah, it I'm is. Do a 3 a.m. challenge on here, but you gotta wait till I come back because I want to come too. Oh, I'm gonna wait. Trust me, I wouldn't do it without you. When we come back, I want to go under the bridge. All right, we're going to have to be careful climbing down there. That looks I know. Like the best way to go is right there. Go. No, go this way. See, between those two trees, go that way. Go between those two trees, walk down, and then down. Yeah. Like, this way. That way, between those two trees there, down straight, and then down under the bridge. Ooh. I do. Oh, you got stuck in work. Oh. Nice well, you can take them off when we get in the van. That creek is pretty, though. Oh, up through there, y'all really can't see it that great because it's, you know, I dark and my light don't go that far. Are, it steps down some, you know, with a little water popping because that on that side's moving fast. Maybe. But very calm on this side. We can hear it how fast, much faster it's moving on mm -hmm. that side. And that side's calm. Like it dips down in. It does. Off them rocks. Uh, yeah. Be careful. Don't need you falling. Don't need me and I'm falling. <laughs> no, I'd freak out. <laughs> that would be so bad. Yes, it would be. Turn my lights off. I really don't need them right now. It's still kind of light out. I kind of like the lighting on my camera right now. It's just drab. Oh, it go. It's not too dark. It's not too bright. It's like perfect. So remote. 
birds, all the birds. Careful, please. Careful. The side of the bridge there. Sitting on concrete pillars. Oh, there's like a beach area down there. Oh. Yeah, we'll be going down there. I think that'd be a good one, guys. Um, 3 a.m. challenge out here at the bridge and go up under it. Maybe even uh, break out the spirit box if I feel like, you know, that would be something that would, you know, catch something out here. I mean, this was uh, old plantation grounds. Um, oh, look. Well, I don't know. Road here and then stop being a road? No. That's a gate that swings over to close oh. this bridge. Oh, yeah, I didn't see the other side. But, uh, I don't know how far the slave, uh, the plantation goes, um, the drill plantation. I'm, we, well, we're probably close to it, yeah. So, we're probably, you know, around it. So, this is probably, you know, there might be some haunted grounds. Might be something worth checking that into. A lot if it says the weight but, uh, yeah. Tons. Yeah. It is a lot, but it's on concrete pillars. Of course, it'll hold that much. But why in the heck do they need that much weight coming out here anyway? Unless they're logging. They explore, remember? They explore, they're like uh, freaking exploring stuff out here. Probably chemical compounds and silicon. Oh yeah. That gets really fuzzy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is an experimental forest, guys. So they're, like, doing all kinds of weird stuff. And I'd like to know what it is, but I don't know. Maybe the more we drive around here, find something creepy, freaky, and unexplainable. So, <coughs> excuse me. Like there ain't no telling, but, I mean, whatever they're experimenting with, it kind of makes me a bit curious. Cross-breed plants for medicine and everything. Maybe. But, uh... Yeah, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I'm glad we found what we found today, tonight, whatever you want to call it. Um, that graveyard was pretty awesome, and uh, the bridge was pretty neat, too. Especially just the area that we're in. It's just... I'm going to need light now. It's starting to get really dark. It's super quiet. Yeah, it is quiet. But yeah, this is just a we'll have to dress fucking warm area. We can here for the grand challenge of freezing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be. But uh, glove it up, freaking pretty hard. Oh, you can see the moon through the trees. Looks like almost a full moon. Right, is that a moon yeah. or a light? No, that's the moon. All right, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like the video, went through a lot to do this today. Comment if you want to talk to me, say anything, it don't matter. Um, just don't be rude and obnoxious and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified when I post a new video. Post them all the time. So, uh, till then, we will see you on the next adventure.